all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to row so i hope everyone is doing well today is going to be your pick a card reading so we're going to take a look and see how does the person on your mind feel about you at this moment in time so we have pile number one pile two and pile three all right so just take a moment to see which crystal is resonating with you i put all of the crystals closer to the camera this has been a recommendation for from a couple people i would say now so we have the rose quartz we have the uh polka dot polka dot agate and we have the fool's gold okay pyrite so hopefully you guys can see those because they're closer to the camera this time um i know the sun is kind of bringing in a glare but i think you can see pretty well except for maybe this one but anyways okay so these are the three piles let's jump in i'm going to start with pile number one i'm just going to move these over so if you guys chose the rose quartz, let's find out how does this person feel about you. Okay, we have death. This could be a Scorpio. We got strength, Leo. The five of swords. We have the eight of pentacles. Okay, their mixed emotion for you is encouraged. Okay. Their messages, we have two. First one is, I compare everyone to you. Second one is, I don't like that so many people desire you. Okay. All right. Pile number one. Interesting. Interesting energy. Um, typically, the rose quartz pulls a certain energy. I wouldn't say that this is typical for the rose quartz, so it's interesting. Um, hmm. Okay. All right, so right off the bat, what I'm feeling from this person with the Five of Swords and the Strength card here is that this is someone who has a very strong ego. They have a lot of pride, so you probably already know that about this person. Um, this is probably someone who's not the most vulnerable, right? They may have a bit of a wall up or it's like they're always protecting themselves, you know? Like it's very difficult for this person to take down that mask to show you their real selves to put their pride to the side to work on things like i think if they had a choice between love and ego they were going to choose ego that's what i'm feeling from this person but i do think that you are encouraging this person to work on themselves okay it might be that there's a situation between the two of you where things ended with the death card here there could have been some sort of shift or change or there could have been just a firm ending where this person had to face themselves you know they had to look at themselves they had to evaluate you know how they showed up in this connection and i feel like since this ending or since this issue this person has literally been comparing everyone to you so it's like they've met new people because again this person is very much in their ego this to me feels like someone who probably themselves gets a lot of attention to be quite honest um for, is what i'm feeling with this strength card here so they're used to lots of attention they may be used to you know dating multiple people or whatever it may be but there's something about you that they can't shake that's what i'm getting like they compare everyone to you so now they're meeting people and it's like they keep thinking about you they keep comparing um other people to you and so because of this i feel like whether you've realized this or not you've encouraged this person to change and you've encouraged this person to work on themselves i feel like they've never thought about certain things before until meeting you like they may even want to change up their career they want to change certain aspects of themselves some of them are actually getting into like spirituality like they're reading on things maybe there are things that you used to talk about and now they're like oh that's really interesting maybe i should look into that like that sounds cool so i feel like this person is definitely looking into like personal development evolving themselves getting past their ego but i will say that their ego is still very strong so they're not quite there yet but definitely you've like piqued their interest but again, with the ego, this person, and I feel like the other thing I'm getting is, okay, yes, this person gets a lot of attention, but I also feel like you do as well. So I feel like this person met their match with you in the sense that this person may be used to like being put on a pedestal, being kind of like the number one, but they also see that you're like that and they feel like you're also someone who gets a lot of attention, who a lot of people put on a pedestal. And so this is something that does bother them. And I think it's an insecurity because they're saying, I don't like that so many people desire you, you know, because this person is used to lots of people desiring them but they're not used to their partner also getting that type of attention so i feel like this person um has issues with that obviously again this is not really like that's not really a healthy uh, thought process if you think about that um because it's like they're fine getting attention but they're like have an issue with you getting this all the same attention 
Um, so just keep that in mind. Like that's something that they're thinking about a lot. This may be something that affects their energy towards you as well. Like I'm getting this person may hold back a lot from you because of this, because they don't want to feel like they're just another kind of number. Like that's how, even if you aren't treating people like that, they don't want to come across to you as just like someone who is like, just a number like they want to stand out and so this person may hold back a lot as a way to kind of increase their value when it comes to you but i also feel like that probably creates a lot of issues for the two of you um but again the overriding energy is that this person thinks through their ego so are they encouraged to shift and change and are they looking into F different like healing modalities yes i just looked up and it was 555 five, five, so that could be relevant um, but the problem is, is that this person still navigates connections through their ego. So that could, you know, cause rifts, but obviously this is just taking into account how this person feels. So there are still feelings for you. Um, so yeah, this person does still have feelings for you or they have emotion for you, but they have an issue with letting their pride, um, you know, get the best of them when it comes to this. Okay. For some of you, the other message is that this person could have tattoos or may have like a very significant like tattoo it doesn't even have to be like a lot of tattoos it could just be like well, there's one specific tattoo that could be important um or there may be something related to tattoos okay it doesn't mean like this person is like fully sleeved or anything like that but i'm just getting something about a tattoo okay um so anyways that's what i have for you guys so i hope this resonated let's move on to pile number two okay so if you guys chose this crystal here let's find out how does this person feel about you so we've got the ten of cups Oh, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Tower. We've got Trapped. For your messages, we have Avoidant Attachment. And we have Please Don't Ignore Me. Okay. Interesting. Okay, pile number two. Wow. Okay. This is interesting. So this is someone who, this is a feelings read. So one thing I'm getting is that this person has very strong feelings for you. Um, to the point where this person has envisioned like their whole life with you. So maybe you guys are already in a committed relationship with this person. That could be the case. If you're not, they're thinking about this. Like this is what they envisioned with you. And I feel like they've definitely gone as far as to like, think about very, very long term, like, like far, probably farther into the future than you would have imagined yourself. Um, but this person, as you probably already know, is very unpredictable. Like you may have a hard time kind of relaxing around this person or feeling settled in a connection with this person because they're very volatile. We've got the tower here. So this is someone who like at the, you know, within any moment in time, they can kind of switch up on you. And you might've noticed this about this person where one minute they seem to be all in, the next minute they completely pull back. And this has to do with their childhood and this avoidant attachment style that they have, um, that they have. Okay, so, cause with the Six of Cups, I'm just noticing here, we have the man here, we have the child. So I do feel like this has to do with like their child, their upbringing, their inner child wounds potentially. But just know that this person, if you guys study attachment styles, has an avoidant attachment. So if you have had a hunch, <laughs> you're probably right. This person does have an avoidant attachment. So there may be times where this person ignores you. There may be times where this person pulls back their energy. Um, and I think what's happened is you might have started mirroring them. So some of you guys like started ignoring this person because maybe you felt ignored by them, right? And I feel like this person really does not like to be ignored, but they also do this. So it's really interesting because it's like the things that this person doesn't like to have done to them, I feel like they often do to other people and I feel like they've done to you. I feel like I get the sense that this person has avoided you at times or ignored you. And so I think a lot of you guys have maybe matched their energy and they don't like it, right? They don't like it, but they feel very trapped with this avoidant attachment, okay? This is someone who really truly has good intentions. Like I strongly feel like this person has really thought about a future with you like very serious here with the like ten of cups and ten of pentacles for those of you who read tarot that's very strong energy in someone's feelings towards you because this is someone who is really thinking like okay marriage they're thinking kids they're thinking trips every year they're thinking let's buy a home together let's build a business together like they're thinking the full full future 
but then they feel stuck they feel trapped because this person is so triggered because they haven't healed from their childhood stuff okay some of you guys it could be father issues doesn't have to be um for some of you you may have kids with this person or someone may have already had kids before you guys met so it could be like a blended type of thing um but what i'm getting is that this person feels so stuck in their like emotional mood swings like they feel stuck because they recognize that they're inconsistent that i feel like this person wants to be more of like a stable figure but I think that this person also reacts a lot from their childhood wounding, which causes instability in this connection. And for some of you guys, maybe that's why you're not engaging with this person right now and they know this, like, and they're saying like, please don't ignore me. Like I'm trying to work on things. I'm trying to fix things. I'm trying to be better. Um, but that is definitely the main issue that I'm seeing here is kind of the inconsistency. So their intentions again are good. Problem is they need to heal. So it's whether or not you're gonna stick around for this healing process and whether or not they're gonna show up in a way where they actually take the initiative to do that, okay? So that is pile number two. So I hope that resonated for you guys. If you wanna book something personal, my information is down below. But let's move on to the last pile here. Okay, so if you guys chose the pyrite, let's see, how does this person feel about you? We've got the 10 of wands. We have the hermit, it could be a Virgo the Page of Cups, the Six of Swords. We have Resentful. Messages, we have, you will be hearing from me today. And we also have Control slash Jealousy Issues. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, this is an interesting one. Okay. So yeah, like I said, could be a Virgo, Taurus, or sorry, sorry, for, could be a Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, yeah, this this person comes with baggage, <laughs> as you probably already know. Um, yeah, this feels like a very, this is someone who's got a very weak heart chakra. And so because of this, they get easily hurt by things. They may not show it, okay? Keep in mind, people can be very good at hiding what they're actually feeling. This person gets very easily hurt, very easily wounded. And it may not even be intentional. You may not intentionally be trying to hurt this person, but it could just be like subtle, subtle, subtle things that drive this person crazy because they're carrying so much heaviness in their heart. We've got this resentful energy. We've got control issues, jealousy issues. Um, and then we have a 10 of wands. So one thing I'm just being called to say before we even get into their feelings for you is like, you have to really evaluate whether or not you want to attach emotionally or even just energetically to this person or continue to because they are carrying a lot. So keep in mind, like just you are a spiritual being and you, when you attach to people, you know, emotionally, even going as far as being intimate with them, you have to realize that you create an energetic cord. And so what they're feeling often can affect you. So just be aware of that because this person's got some heavy energy, like very. So I do think that this person has taken a step back from you. So, and I think the reason why is because they did something or you did something in their eyes that hurt them or bothered them. I don't even know if it was justified, but there was something that happened and they were hurt by it and they were very like resentful, like they didn't want to forgive you kind of energy. Um, but so they take, they took a step back, but I feel like this person is like, okay, I need to just, you know, get over this thing because it's obviously going to ruin the connection if I don't. So that's why they're saying here, you will hear from me today. So if, again, if this person took a step back or avoided you, they're coming back around to, um, initiate things again, but keep in mind, like the thing is, okay. What I'm feeling from this person is they want control. Like they want to feel in control. This feels very immature. That could also be why we have the page of cups. They may be very emotionally immature, not realizing like what it takes to actually have a healthy connection. It's almost, it feels to me like kind of like a child who's like, okay, like who's kind of pouting and saying like, you hurt me and I'm not going to talk to you today. Like that's the, I'm not saying that that's what they did, but that's the vibe that I'm kind of feeling from this person. Like very immature, like kind of like, okay, well, like a more adult approach is like actually discussing what hurt you and figuring out a way to resolve it versus like throwing a tantrum and then pulling back. So that's the thing that I'm getting. Now, does this person care about you? Yes, I feel like this person does, definitely. Um, but they're very emotionally distant from you, aren't they? Like I get the sense that 
this person's emotional world is very turbulent so it's like the closer they are to you the more turbulent these emotions are the stronger their resentment the stronger these jealousy issues control so when this person pulls back from you what they're attempting to do is they're attempting to not have to feel so much but again this is not your responsibility right that's why i keep getting called to say like keep in mind this person's got a lot of baggage like so yes if you haven't heard from this person you will be hearing from them they're not going anywhere like is what i'm getting so even if they've distanced themselves a bit they're not going anywhere you will hear from them um you might even get an apology or like an attempt at an apology like they may kind of make you some sort of an offer uh I don't want to sound like I just don't want it to sound negative but I just have to like give you the overriding energy it's just that this person is like like for some of you I'm hearing that a lot of you have been waiting for this person to come back and that's fine you will hear from them but you have to really consider like how much of this can you take I guess you can say right like how much of this can you take because this inconsistency like not even an inconsistency it's just very um this person's heart is so blocked right i do think deep down this person is really truly like just a good person and i do think that this person really does care about you and you guys can probably sense that and you know that you know that they really you guys do share some sort of bond here especially with that hermit i feel like maybe you guys learn from each other or maybe you guys bond over like certain wisdom you bond over certain like knowledge maybe there's like a topic of there's some topic area that both of you guys bond over um and you've seen the good in this person i feel like you see the good in them but just don't let that cloud you from what's also going on emotionally with this person so i don't know what can progress from this but again that's not what the reading is so this person does have feelings for you but i do think that they need to get over this kind of angry energy before they come back to you but i 100 percent feel like you will be hearing from this person for sure for sure okay so guys that's what i have for you so i truly truly hope that this reading was helpful if you want to book your own personal reading all right but i'm sending you absolute love and light and i wish you all the best on your journeys take care